Happy Monday morning, Everyday Math. Um, we are going to jump right back into the week with something a little bit familiar, kind of continuing our idea of tree diagrams. So it will be a little bit of a refresher from last week, but also something a little bit new. But before we jump into our new problem, here is our joke for today. So why are all the frogs around here dead? I haven't heard too many. They're dead because because of all of that croaking. That's right, because of all their croaking. All right, so here we are. I am at page 260 in your math journal. Make sure that you turn there and look with me. I'm going to do this first problem with you, um, and then uh, you should be able to fill out the rest on your own. There's another worksheet on the table. Make sure you complete that, um, as well as tonight's homework, which will be on this topic, too. All right, so hopefully this video will be nice, short, and sweet, just the way you like it. Okay, so here we are entering a room, and we're looking at all the different possibilities. Before we start answering these questions, I actually want to fill in the chart. It's just helpful for me to figure out what exactly is going on. So what they're asking us to do is to fill in the chart of all the different opportunities. Where are the fractions? Um, at each little crossroad, what are our fractions at? So for example, right here, they're saying that we have a 1 in 4 chance. So from this first point, there we can choose 1 out of 4. So then we have to, choose, we have to write the fractions of each chance. So the rest of these are going to be 1 over 4. And that's pointing to these lines. The lines right there is that when you first start, you have you choose one out of four different choices to enter okay now what do you think when we go to this point what's our choice how to, out of how many out of uh, what are the ch what's our choice one out of how many well we only have two lines so we would say it's one out of two so all of these are one over two okay all one half we can choose one out of two choices um, unfortunately, we're not so much like microorganisms, like cells that can multiply and go both ways. We can't do that anymore. Um, yeah, sorry. So you can only choose one. And then now, at the bottom, it wants us, like, what are the total number of options out of all of them? That's why they're at the bottom. We've come to our end, and we're not doing our specific line. So out of, what's the... Like if you, how would you end up here? What's that chance? It's one out of how many to enter out of that one little passageway? Well, it would be one out of one. It would be one out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, one out of eight. So that's what you write at the bottom. One out of eight. Those are tiny little eights. Okay, so again, you have a one out of eight chance to get to a specific room. Now they want us to get to probability, and this is where we bring in our probability factor, is that it's a one out of chance, one out of eighth chance to come out to one of these specific spots, but we're entering rooms. So some of these corridors enter the same room. So we're gonna figure out, like now we're gonna look at our questions. What is the probability of entering room A? So we have to see what leads into room A. So I count one, two, three, four, five. There are five spots into room A. So if I look down here, I gotta see how many is that total. It's five out of eight. There are eight possible um, routes that could be taken and five of them go into room A. So then we say the opposite with room B, it's three out of eight, three lanes feed into room B. Okay, and that's our probability, is that you have a better chance of getting into room A than getting into room B. Okay, now obviously this is easier for us to see from above view, but if you were to actually make a maze, um, I know in the lower 48 they, they have something called a corn maze. I don't know if you've ever seen that, something in a movie. Um, but it's pretty cool. You people knock out 
a maze in a big cornfield and you wander around to try to get through. Um, I think I've done it. I've done it once. Um, <laughs> of course, if you're a little kid, you can get pretty scared uh, if you get lost. But um, for sure. So probability, make sure you count out these bottom numbers. Remember that these fractions go with the chances out of your line. So remember the spot, you have two choices. For example, up here you have four choices. So make sure you label your fractions correctly. Um, and then obviously it comes out of your total at the bottom. How many total are there? Okay, uh, ask for help if you need any. Remember, don't just skip on. Don't put IDK. That doesn't count. You got. I really want you to have deep understanding of these concepts. And if you don't, let me help you. Okay? I will see you in real life.